Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here. And today we're gonna start the shellless run. I am afraid, to be honest. Quite afraid. We've got New Game Plus 3, New Game Plus 1. And the shellless. A new game. Ooh, I don't know how this is gonna go, but <laughs> if it's as hard as I think it is, it's gonna be pretty hard. You're gonna have to harden. I don't know if you can even do this unless you're on a new game cycle, because. In New Game Plus and Beyond, you take damage when you harden. And he has, like, no health shellless. So that's going to be <laughs> really hard if you go with, on a New Game Plus cycle. Her of the Blessed. What is going on? The old moose caboose. <laughs> Why is he going so slow? Like, this is his run. Okay, LT was Harden. But we gotta run away. Oh wait, we have to harden. Now it makes sense. Thank you, Obsidian. Appreciate the wishes of luck. I'm gonna need it. Oh, you got a PS5, or a, P <laughs> a PC instead of a PS5, I see. I don't know why that sentence was so hard to say. PC, I see, PS5, C. What's up going, Full Hollow? Gabriel, what's going on? Oh man. Okay. May harden in most situations, even while attacking. Experiment with hardening at different times. Pain of going shellless should dwarf the pain of no PS5. Well, <laughs> I'm just in for a world of pain then. Because I'm going shellless and I don't have PS5. He runs like he has a full diaper. <laughs> oh, see if... Wait, why do I have so, so much health? Oh man, I am so bad at this. I like this size health bar. I can dig that. Oh boy. Wow. 
Wow, <laughs> what a miss. Oh, jeez. I've never beaten this tutorial guy. I'm gonna go for a triple hit. I think I can do it. Can't even get a two that time. I don't know. I went for the spike. Jeez. Okay, I'm not gonna go for a triple hit ever again. That's how much health he normally has. Double Harden. Quick. <laughs> we just gotta keep doing the same thing. I think we got it. Just gotta play it safe. Only this sword was like plus one already. Oh, that could have been the end for me. hard boys it's a cheap strategy but it works <laughs> r2 and harden all day or night, depending on where you are. Oh no, oh no. Oh man. Oh, uh, almost died there, getting stuck by a pole. We've come too far. Keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Pattern. Harden. We are so close. Might be the next hit for the win. Oh boy. 
Oh my god, he's still alive. We got him now. One more. Oh, first time I ever beat that guy. The bell tolls. Demon Souls is pretty bad, and it's more of a remaster than a remake. Well, that's sad. <laughs> but I'm getting it anyways. Well, I mean, I have it. I already have Demon Souls. <laughs> Just don't have PS5. Um. Oh, here's going to sleep. Sorry, man. What's up, bunny? AKA sour cream, okay. Yes. <laughs> the boss is pretty hard. I thought his name was Harden too. Oh, uh, look at my health bar, it's so small. Genie health bar. Did I try putting the game in the PS4? <laughs> <laughs> no, I I thought about it and I was like, what if it gets stuck? Then I'm like out of PS5 and a PS4. And that's what would happen given my luck. So apparently there's another form another shellless form that you can get by going to an altar i think it's by gorf the only time i've been there was on my first playthrough i found it kind of by gorf oh dan you're playing this game too nice he wants me to steal a ps5 i don't even actually i do know one person my friend has a ps5 other than that, I don't even know anyone that has one to steal. Small HP. Extra small. But, like, infinite stamina, though. I don't know the best way to do this. I assume it would just be to run through the game... And not even fight anybody except the bosses. But I don't know if I want to do that. It might be kind of lame. Burn, burn. Yeah, the stamina bar isn't just longer. It, like, drains slower as well. Pretty crazy. So, I think... Uh, shoot. I don't remember exactly how to get to Gorf. Roasted rot. Toss ball. Trying to look at the chat <laughs> and hopefully just run across the wall, but he got stuck on a rock. Um, Rowan, what's going on? Huh! 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 I bet those crossbow guys would even kill me. One and two.
Need a weapon with a really good running attack. This running attack is pretty good. I don't know which weapon I should use. I was thinking hammer and chisel. The old chiz bizzler. What do you guys think? Okay, here's Gorfenheim. I have no food, Gorf. I wonder if that poison is going to kill me in one hit. I'm pretty sure that... So... Damn! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that little... Altar somewhere around there by Gorf. Jeez. That guy came out of nowhere. Freaking Halberd speed. Well, I guess if you've never played the game, you're the wrong person to ask. <laughs> Pet the frog. <laughs> you can feed the frog. No, I can't get my shell. Horrors. It seems like... <sighs> Let me see if I can survive any hit. Where's a small little guy? Bear trap. Can I survive bear trap? I didn't even take damage from the bear trap. These guys have clubs. I don't know. No, you can't. Can't even survive a hit from one of those dudes. I wonder why... Well... Hmm. I was thinking, like, this shell guy seems really powerful. Sester talks to him like he's some kind of godlike entity. He does ascend at the end of the game. And I was like, he's just so weak, though. I don't know why everyone's acting like he's such a powerful guy, but I guess it's because he can possess other people. So we can use the shells and stuff, and that's what makes it powerful. Not just anything he does without being in someone else. A hard man goes inside other people, basically. This is power. Ugh. And immunity to bear trap damage. It's also nice. Two. I didn't sign up for two. <laughs> I hardened through that guy's attack. And smash that dude. Oh. <laughs> what was down there? Tar spore, I guess. 
Dokuo, what's going on? Sid, what's up? So far, I've died... Well, I died twice, but one time I was just trying to see if I could survive a hit from that. I wonder if I could survive a hit from the crossbow. I don't know if I should even try. So there's death frogs around here. We gotta watch out for them. And there's that freaking crazy halberd guy. Gosh, that running attack is so nice. Okay, I think it was in this ring. Um, I don't know if it came out on this side. Slurry of tar. Oh, is this it? My remembery is remembering well. Clubs are your only weakness, apparently. I think everything is my weakness. <laughs> the altar of strange. <laughs> Choosing to renounce all shells forsakes your connection to mortality. You will play the rest of the game without a shell. Your connection to the shells will be severed, and you will lose all progress made with your shells. Yes. Oh my god, it's... The... What the heck? The Sekiro bug... You can see my bones now. I'm all black. Black man. Black tar man. I wonder if he's actually made out of tar. Okay, so it doesn't look like my health went up at all. Um. <laughs> That's where you get a special loot. I don't think I need anything. Gosh, I don't even know where to go from here. Um. Ah, ah. I don't have any things set up in my menu. Do I? My health isn't going down, though. Oh, jeez. I guess if you're rolling, you don't take poison damage. That's weird. 
Yeah, that's what it looks like, Sid. Spooky skeleton and tar muscle. I'm not sure what's the best weapon for this run. I guess is either the martyr's blade or the hammer and chisel. I'm pretty sure that was poison, though, that killed me. <laughs> I was poisoned, but I wasn't taking any poison damage. I, th I don't know if it's because I was rolling or what. I wonder what happens if I try to do this. I'm not supposed to be able to. <laughs> but he did it anyway. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that gonna mess up my trophy thing? Not using any shells? Damn. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be able to do anything. I just wanted to see a funny cutscene of him going up to the body and being like, Oh, drat. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> well, we already beat that one guy. So I got the trophy for that. I don't need to worry about beating him again. That is correct, Dio. No PS5. Get up, you bastard. He looks so muscular. you think he'd be able to survive at least one hit with a club. I mean, if someone hit me with a club, I wouldn't just instantly die. PS3. <laughs> See, bruv. I don't know, this sword is working pretty good. I love the running attack on it. it covers so much ground. I wonder if you, uh... R1 plus L2. I thought I'd do that. I wonder if you beat that boss guy with more health, if you get to keep more of your health for the run. That would be interesting. I found another mortal token, which will be completely useless. Because I die in one hit, unless you get to keep more of your health. Strong words from someone who has skin. Well, that is true. I do have skin. You already hit me twice, man. What am I doing? I just want to do something besides R2 and Harden. Oh! 
pattern with the Harden. What a good one, too. Yeah, I should not do that. I can do that, though. He missed. I'm doing a lot better this time. close. That also was close. That also was close. Nice. Okay, so I had about half my health bar. Let's see if it's any bigger this time. You guys on military time? Let's see, Rowan's at 6.06. Sid's 5.06. Gabriel's 20.06, which is... 8.06? Dio's at 0.07. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like Sid and I are in the same time zone. And Bunny's about to go to sleep. <laughs> no. Hattern was not hard enough. Twenty four hour format gang. I mean it makes sense. You don't have to say AM or PM. Finite source, I don't think I said hello to you. Hope you're doing well. Game is making you harden. <laughs> it's a good one. It is a good one. Okay, look at my health bar. It's so small. That is dumb. Well, now we know. Sleep is overrated, Dio. You don't need it. That's actually not true. You do need... I think you need at least six hours. I'm not sure. I guess it depends on... You... How your body is. I know a lot of people that just, like, say, you know, I'll get six hours and I'm fine. Yeah, that is true, Sid. <laughs> I have a friend in Canada who's in the same time zone as me. I have a friend in Texas who's in the same time zone as me. Six to seven for an adult. What about eight? I've heard six and I've heard eight. Herbity burbity bur. Thank you. 
All right, so <laughs> this time we're not going to grab that shell. The more bosses you beat without a shell, it should increase your health. That's a good idea from a good hunter. What's up, Thomas? Doesn't matter if I get those items, I can't heal myself. Can go all the way up to 10 if you want. I mean, I want like one hour of sleep, <laughs> but I don't think my body would appreciate that. The chisel has a really good running attack as well. I'm thinking this sword or the chisel. <laughs> Thanks for the Fs, bros. that stamina bar though I grabbed it who cares yeah. trying to get my obsidian form for extra hard mode That dude has some really quick breakout attacks. That's the pose of a killer. Got a congealed tar. I remember I went this way last time. Did I get anything? Tosh board, did I go through the hole? Is there anything in the hole? Oh, that's these guys. I was actually playing a new game plus with Eredrum. And it is so fun just hammering people with that hammer and chisel, dude. R2, R2, R1, R1, R2, R1, R1, R2. Your options are limitless. <coughs> Damn it. Oh, the sneeze. The sneeze of death. should upgrade the sword that's definitely what I want to do but I don't know if I want to use the sword or the chisel hammer and chisel oh my god obsidian slept for 21 hours <laughs> dang salut thank you Dio freaking death sneeze I just had to see if you can get in that shell. Yep, 
You shouldn't be able to. It says it severs your connection with all your shells, and you can't get in shells. And then he gets in a shell. Roasted rat. Now, where the hell did that... Okay, he's over here. Gotta watch out for this dude. Liking the sword though. That freaking crossbow scared the crap out of me. He hit his friend though. I don't know if this little dude can survive a sword slash to the face. Why can't shellless man survive a club? There should be an achievement for getting a shell after connection severed. Ah. Slurry of tar. Deshelled and reshelled. I like that. How long is this game? Approximately six, seven, eight hours? I mean, it could be longer depending on how you play. If you're trying to go around and get all the items and stuff. That is so weird. Weird tar man. Looks kind of sad. I would be too if I were him. No, you get that uh, tarnished seal when you get to the bell tower. What's up, Jaif? Congrats on the platinum. I'm trying to think if there's a quenching acid I can get just so I have a plus one sword for the early game. But I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Got friggin' clubbed. What's your man's favorite instrument? The guitar. Good one. Uh, I know there's some quenching acid in the fire area. I know there's some when their mist comes out.
You should have said, I shall, Gabriel. <laughs> then you would have had the double pun. That's where I died, ain't it? Yeah. Don't walk towards me. Ah, pumpkin head. It seems like you can actually hold down that R2 longer. But it could just be me. Got a simple loot, boys. And a boiled frog. Inferior moonshine. Ah! I keep forgetting those stupid things are there. Jaif! Thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. I do appreciate it. This running attack is so nice. The chisel's running attack is good, though. <laughs> okay, that's a quenching acid, but only when the mist is out. I think we do get a quenching acid from beating the Grisha. Grisha. Alright, the parry tool is here, Sester's here. You're an adult boundling. Someone should mod the game and add a bonk sound effect. <laughs> what time is it for me? 5.23. Same as I. As are the Yeah, there's two in the fire area. following. Unlike the devout. Unlike any living thing. When you find a mortal shell, <laughs> them to me. Together we will find. Oh, it does not increase the damage if you hold down R2. Dang it! We can get four acids before the first boss. Gaze upon your nascent form. One durability, maximum stamina. Five resolve. Okay, this is where we get the parry tool. Rip it out of that dude's neck. The tarnished seal. Perhaps you two can use it to free yourself from this wretched land. Perry! Oh man. I don't know if I'm going to be doing much in the way of parries here. I don't even know what to do here. I guess I'll just go fight Grisha. But before I go, 
We pet the cat for good luck. It's super fist, like Aerodrome does. I thought there was a big frog around here. I actually learned how to parry those guys today when I was playing with Aerodrome. <laughs> right to the bear trap. No! Dude, that attack is so dumb. You can also buy... Oh, yeah! I forgot you could buy the acid. That's cool. One in chest by the guys on way to fire area. The only way I know how to get to the fire area is through the Grishador. Tarnished. Okay. There we go. Lemmy, what's going on? Made a baby, what? <laughs> I hope they make DLC for this game. You're awake. Good. Please, take this mask. It's not unlike my own. It reveals the way of all. Oh, you meant you made a baby. Beyond life. She did most of the work. Okay. Where spirits. Well, congratulations, sir. Perhaps Does it have wings and horns? I hope so. Parry is pretty useless for Shellless Run, sparing a few parry bait enemies. Tower left side. What's up, Prema? I'm gonna give Grisha a shot, see how I do. Grisha. Don't you start that with me, goblin. He died on a stump. Ooh, the kick doesn't do any damage. All right, so that's the way I know to get to the fire area. You said one in a chest by guys on way to fire area. What's up, Jackson? Human dupe glitch. What is that? I don't need any glitches. I got the skill. Oh, man. Idea. Sometimes the game glitches and you get a few extra copies. Huh. What's up, Solar? Take the upgrade from behind Grisha. Is there a quenching acid behind him? Okay. That'll be easier to get to. Was the way I was going going to get me to that other oh, quenching acid though? Let's see, is there another way out? Fish.
<laughs> What's up, Silius? The tools in Grish's chest for the sword. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, since I'm not parrying that much, maybe using the resolve attacks would be better. What is my opinion on games like Spelunky or Isaac? I have not played Spelunky or Isaac. I don't know. I just don't know. I would try to go in this way because the other way seemed like there was just too many enemies, but. We'll use photo mode. If I go this way. There's gonna be a Grisha there. But that's not the fire area, that's towards the crypt. So if I go this way, that's the same thing, I assume. It's a nice little item there. Don't even know if that's the chest we can open. Don't think that is anything. I think there's a way. From here. Without. Oh no, this is where I died. Grisha and take the way right on the tower. That's like towards the beginning. Hmm. Okay, so I was going the wrong way. Yeah, I know where Grisha is. I'm trying to see if there's a quenching acid. I don't know. I'll just fight Grisha. He's not too bad. <laughs> if I like hard games, you suggest to try them, especially Spelunky and Spelunky 2. What's up, G-Spot Gabe? This game does not have PvP. I just looked at my stamina bar. It like takes nothing to swing this sword. I swing it all day. Nothing is happening. <laughs> oh my god. That is insane. Wow. I 
just run around all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> does Demon Souls Remake have PvP? It does. However, you do need a PS5, and I don't know if it's solid PvP. Kid came out with a plus two S stock. <laughs> you put him back in. <laughs> oh man. When I look at Grisha, I take a right around the tower. Around the tower. Mm. Yeah, and shell is you. You just have one hit, and you're dead. You rather have more Dark Souls three vids than Demon Souls remastered? Wow. Hmm. You have that crazy stamina when you get knocked out of your shell too in normal runs. Oh wow. All right, everyone's telling me to go around the tower. I'll go around the tower. You think I can't go around the tower? My nickname in high school was the Tower of Power. Because I can go around the tower all day. I kind of want to just get the Martyr's Blade or the giant mace thing. Oh, man. Alright, I'm going to do one attempt to go around the tower and then one attempt at the Grisha. We'll just keep switching off like that. <laughs> Love my builds. Bet you have a body build in real life just as good as your in-game ones. <laughs> no, not quite as good. I'm a skinny man. I've kept your flesh. Got to put some more points in the strength. I wonder if these guys will follow me into there. Stab him in the face. Huh, they will. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's even worse. Stumbled. I walk away and I choke. Oh God! <laughs> All right. We'll try going on the tower. Gabriel never played Demon Souls. How was PvP in the original? Um. Honestly, that was the first Souls game I played. I assume, well, <laughs> it's the first Souls game, so if you played that one, that's the first. 
so people weren't as hardcore going into PvP. Um, people definitely got into it. I got into it and tried to make the best builds possible. But we didn't know all the mechanics and stuff at that point. So it's hard to say. Um, I assume there's going to be some weird quirky stuff that I'm probably not going to like when I go back to it. No. That was close. But I don't remember anything. I The backstabs were annoying, but they seemed better than Dark Souls 1. I know there was this weird thing where, like, you could get backstabs, but if you rolled at the right time, you wouldn't actually take any damage. Son of a halberd. So I feel like the backstabs are a little bit better. Um, but I, 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 I yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I just haven't played it, PvP-wise, in so long. What's up, Vasil? You got more of a dex build than <laughs> strength. <laughs> nice. Sid's got the Smo build. <laughs> yes, you got, you got some poise for sure. I've kept your flesh safe. Bound. Yeah, Dark Souls 1 backstabs. Oh. Not my cup of tea. People like it, though. It has its audience. The audience, however, is not me. Just keep swinging. Honestly, pretty fun. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Bloodborne. Except you don't die in one hit. I wasn't by that spike because I saw my character slide over towards his claw after he did the thrust. Damn. Why does my character look like Burn to? I don't know what that is, but this guy, his power is that he can steal other people's bodies. I think only if they're dead. I'm going for the challenge run, though, where you don't actually get a character to play as. You're just <laughs> the... I don't know what his nascent form is called. I've kept your flesh safe, family. But that's the shellless run. With no shells. Just this guy. Black Tar Man. Tar Blackman. <laughs> Blackman's an actually an actual last name. 
So we'll name him Tar Blackman. Be nice. Guy's snarling at me. Loot for you. You can just jump in and jump out so quick with this guy. Monster stamina, man. Tar Blackman. Oh my god, that could have been it for Tar Blackman, folks. One bonk from Clubbers. Tar Blackman is out. Why did I try to parry that guy? <laughs> is that the camp I need to get to? Hashtag Griffith did nothing wrong. <laughs> he did some things right and some things wrong. All opinions seem to be represented. <laughs> I don't remember what he did right. Well, I mean, I guess really the thing he did wrong was kind of like at the end. <laughs> Tarson Blackman. What you guys know about Tarson Blackman? All right, I'm gonna check that camp. People are saying there's a quenching acid by a camp around the tower, and Tarson Blackman is the man to find it. Maybe he'll get me a PS5 when he's there. Is this the right one? Yeah. Maybe. What a harden. Look at that beautiful pose. <laughs> the loot. I gained a glimpse, but it didn't give it to me. Tar Blackman takes no glimpses. Oh, he got up all slow this time. Parries are so risky. When you're shellless. I found it. Excellent. Bling. He's a maniac. Maniac tar blackman. He drinks tar and he is a black tar blackman. Yeah. 
just keep playing your loot, my man. Pay no attention to Tar Blackman. Who's going to upgrade his sword? Maybe I should save it for the Chiz Bizzler. I love the Chiz Bizzler. No, I can, I can do both. Blackman is the hardest man. To obtain something of equal value must be lost. Let's see, he got where he was because of guts. Oh, we're talking about <laughs> Berserk. <laughs> Parries are risky. Risky, and I like it. Tar Blackman is actually Donovan. Donovan, Donovan. Who was Donovan? I don't remember Donovan and Guts. Or is that not from Guts? I'm trying to avoid that bear trap. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Nope. Adios, muchacho. Oh, I missed. Jeez, you can't even harden that one. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Solar only ever saw the 90s Berserk anime, but didn't Griffith, Griffith like willingly sacrifice his old friends to a bunch of demons and then get down and dirty with an unwilling recipient? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. It happened. That, yeah. Tar Blackman would never do that. Donovan was in Guts, Guts. Anyway, stay frosty, guys. Gotta go. Alright, G Spot Gabe 2.0. See you later, my man. I, I forgot about the. Um, forced, unwanted touching of a nature that is sexual. <laughs> but yeah, that uh, sort of makes Griffith a little bit of a jerk. Just a little bit. Oh my god. I'm just gonna run around a lot, roll a lot. Run and roll. I thought I had that parry. All right, Thomas. See you later, my man. <laughs> Dark Blackman does not approve of forced, unwanted touching of a sexual nature. <laughs> Only in violent nature. Hmm? Tar Blackman is a violent man, if that's what you mean. I've kept your flesh safe, found me. Thank you, ma'am. Oof. <laughs> Infinite R2s. 
Oh, I miss. Oh, I'm glad I was able to harden. <laughs> I messed that parry up. I thought he was not going to hit me. Dang. <laughs> Hope everybody has a great day and then the next day wakes up with a bunch of money and a PS5. See you later, Dio. <laughs> Dude, Grisha's pretty cool. I like Grisha. He might be your dad. Don't play with your luck. Don't push your luck, maybe? Pain. Hey, life is suffering. I've kept your flesh safe. Aerodrome was right. Life is suffering. I'm going to make a shirt. Life is suffering. Aerodrome. Why'd I harden? <laughs> Did he get hit by two bear traps? I didn't get hit by any so far. R2, R2. But I missed. Eat it, Grish. Dude, it's so good. I hear involuntary hardening. <laughs> it's common. <laughs> oh, you'd buy one, Tokuo? Sweet, I gotta make it. Life is suffering. I did so much damage so quickly there with the parry and the repost and then the R2s. I think this is more than the third time though. I've kept your But we'll just say it's my third time. We'll just keep saying this the third time until I beat him. out for that bear trap. Oh no. You got trapped by a bear. <laughs> what if there was a bear trap but it was literally like a trap and then a bear would come out and attack you. I figured might as well do parries at the beginning. Ooh, 
those were. Got him. Ooh. Okay, it is the mechanical spike. <laughs> that ass, though. Um. I think what I want to do is run and try to get the chisel. I'm not sure if the chisel is going to be better. Or the sword is gonna be better. The sword is actually seeming pretty dang good with infinite stamina. But I bet the chisel is gonna be pretty good with infinite stamina too. So we'll see. Yeah, that 360. Grab the blade of the sword and swing the hilt at your opponent does seem to miss a lot, but it does a ton of damage. So let me see if I can get that hammer and chisel. Hey, third time's a charm. Did it my third try, right? Yeah. Thick and hairy, just the way I like it. I wonder <laughs> what a female Grisha looks like. Probably the same as the male. Just exactly the same. You guys got nothing on this. Room. But we cannot get any shells this run. I want that. I think that's the thing that gives your resolve. A quicker refill rate. Honestly, I feel like you could use the sword, the hammer and chisel, maybe the martyr's blade. I don't know about the hammer, but maybe even the hammer. I don't know. We'll see. I'm planning on running past that guy. That's the way we do it. I blend in so well. <laughs> oh my god, Corvid's glimpse of adoration. Admiration? Admiration? Freaking COVID. Don't give R34 artists any ideas. <laughs> What? <laughs> Getting it on your zero try is so good. Just looked at Grisha and he died. Best thing about the sword is the stun and the resolve. Couldn't this Grisha actually be the female one? It could be. Could be.
Um, there's actually more than one Grisha. There's the Grisha I just fight, just fought. There's the imprisoned Grisha. And then there's two Grishas that spawn when the mist is out. Could be a species name, though. Dude, this is gonna suck. <laughs> this was already the hardest. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I'll just do that like I normally do. Jeez, okay. He's got that super quick chisel slash. I gotta be careful with that. Pattern. Let me get my souls, Hattern. Jesus. That hammer's so quick. Use the resolve move. That's an idea. I keep forgetting about the resolve move. Super stab! I don't know why that stab does so much more damage than the other stabs. I'm not calling the worm fish. Oh, I missed. Double Harden. Oh my god, that freaking chisel. So quick. His name is Hattern this whole time. My brain must have rearranged the letters to say Harden. I did the same thing, Sid. I think it's because... We're hardening so much that harden is in your head. They have a lot of weird wordplay in here, like harden and hattern, tar and tarsus. I guess that's really about it. <laughs> Jeez! The stick to the chest. Okay. Times like this, we do nothing but R2 Harden. It's not pretty, but it's R2 Harden. Oh no, did I lose my souls? Yes, I did. Oh. We had the same idea there, Hattern.
Tar Blackman. And Hattern. Great minds think alike. Jesus! The frickin' chisel to the face! Oh my god! His name is Harden. <laughs> Bunny. I don't care what the word says above the H people. <laughs> you can call him Harden, I don't care. Tar Blackman's strongest move, R2 Harden. That's really like the only safe thing I can do here. Look at how quick that stab is. Fracking close. Hattern with a Harden. Tar Blackman playing it safe with another hard to Harden. I guess I could do that as well. What? Did I like get out of the arena or something? The water was getting up to my stomach. Hmm. I can do this. I think. I don't need you fish. thinking okay when he does the overhead smash I can wait for a running attack and do that what's up Jedi toxic it was very fast chisel reminds you of dual blades from Monster Hunter I don't really remember dual blades I used Switchblade, a little bit. Well, mostly Switchblade. I use Lance. Oh my god, just instant death. <laughs> my soul. Uh, what else did I use? A little bit of the bow. Really about it. I, I don't know. I could not get into Monster Hunter. I played it for 300 hours, but yeah. 
Oh, Tari Black at it again. <laughs> Terry Blackman. Tar Blackman. I like that. Tari Blackman. Okay. Whoa, I can do this. I know the timings. I just have to play it safe. Don't follow up after an attack. Don't do it. You can do running attacks after a harden. And you can do R2 harden. That's it. That is, he is using my tactic. Full hollow. That bastard. Yoded. <laughs> this fight proves PvP could never work without a rework. All we would ever do is stay hardened forever. <laughs> Get hard with your friends. Play Mortal Shell. What did I just say? Don't do that. Tempting, but don't do it. <laughs> you can do two attacks really quick in a row, and it'll just kill me. I can't follow up after a swing. All I can do is R2 Harden. And an attack after he does a harden or a running jump. Look at that, all three of them in a row. Those are my options. Dude, you missed. <laughs> That's okay. You can't win them all. I've just lost seven in a row. Take it from me. So quick. Oh, that could have been it for me. That came out pretty quick. That that was scary. Oh, thank God for double rolls.
keeps doing it. <gasps> Got him with a running attack. That is what I like to see. That was the one, Prema. We got it. We got him. Look at all those GGs. Thank you guys. Now we got the Hizzler and Chizbizzler. We got nothing for that. A pretty good great move set. Pretty good running attack as well. Which you can just do from Standing if you hold down circle and push up and R2 at the same time. It basically just acts like a plunging attack. Ooh, man. <laughs> Alright, Doku, I'll see you later, man. Is it hammer time? I'm not sure. I, I'm... Stuck between hammer and sword. I'm not sure which one is going to be best. Let's see how long have we been playing. Hour and 48 minutes. Oh, that guy's still there. Airdrum, I love you, but I can't. I can't, Avon. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Freaking crossbow guy. Bloop. And you're dead. Gosh, I want to try the other bosses, but... I'm not looking forward to running through the entire area. Oh, I totally agree, Sid. If you can get some skills with him, like, I mean, I don't know what else. <laughs> Just increase your damage, maybe? I was going to say increase your damage if your health is low, but his health is always low. So maybe that's just how it works. and chisel is nice, man. <laughs> what do we got here? A uh, large bolt and an effigy. Nothing I care about too much. Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh yeah. You're just gonna emote at me. I'm gonna run. Tar spore, gotta get it. For good luck. Into the hole we go. <laughs> I think the shellless runs are going to be mostly. Oh, drat. I thought I could do that sprinting full speed and maneuver around those bear traps, but I could not. Anyways, I feel like the shellless runs are going to be a lot of just running through the area. Alright, gone for hollows. See you later, man. Continually hitting an enemy raises attack. Kind of like pontiffs. I want to say, like, left eye ring. Forces you to unga bunga with one HP. <laughs> um. Yeah, that would be cool if you had a few little skills. What about like raise HP? That'd be a good one, ain't it? There's a bear trap there, guy. Oh, come on. Increase your HP. Increase your repost damage. You don't really need to increase your stamina anymore. <laughs> Maybe increase your damage as you have less stamina. That could be pretty cool. I think Tyel actually gets that already. Good old Tyel. Your flesh safe, family. We'll keep it safer. I'm going to have to just kill these guys. I mean, they keep killing me. It's hard to compare these two weapons because one's plus one and one is base. But hammer and chisel at base is doing pretty good. I wouldn't say it's better than sword plus one though. We're gonna have to see how the hammer and chisel does at plus one against the plus one sword. Skill opposite of aerodromes. The more enemies around you, the bigger the attack boost. Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be really cool. Uh, friggin Halberd man Maybe some skills that give him stealth That might be pretty cool Stealth man. There's not really any stealth in this game so far, is there? I've kept your flesh safe, bounding. Doubt it. You probably just had it in the meat cooler with those rotten hot dogs. Yeah. 
was like I was teabagging him. Okay. So I should be able to harden through at least in-game death counter. That would be pretty cool. Or not just a death counter, but maybe a skill that gives you more attack. Well, the more you die, the more attack doesn't really seem like a good skill to do. Move! Maybe, like, you start off with an attack boost. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! God, this is so annoying. <laughs> Um, start off with an attack boost of like 100%. So it doubles your damage. And there's a little counter, 100. And every time you die, it takes away one of the counters. So it goes from 100 to 99 to 98. And you lose 1% of your damage buff. That might be pretty cool. You need a wipe after walking around this place. I Could be you, White War on Guard. It's got to be able to express the number of deaths and powers of ten, though. Might be no stealth mechanic, so you can't cheese it like in Dark Souls games, because backstabs. Yeah. But only for shellless run. That's all I mean. I wouldn't want stealth anywhere else. Maybe Tyel. Tyel could probably use some stealth. Smack, smack, smack. Smack, 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 smack. Smack it a deck. Crack. It's a weird tunnel. All right, third time's a charm, as they say. All right, there's a bear trap. Got to avoid the bear trap. So far, so good. Oh god. I'm glad he switched. <laughs> that saved me. Oh. That was crazy. Okay. We made it. I think I'm going to try to just run through and get to the boss. Actually, I know that where a quenching acid is. I'll get that. Uh, actually, I think there's two quenching acid. I only know where one is, though. Smack, smack, bonk. This poor guy. I thought about something like, you may have to kill a few enemies to get a refill. 
temporary stealth, stealth ability. Something stealth would be cool, I think, for him. Thank you, Obsidian. I assume you're not talking about me getting bonked in the back of the head. <laughs> Probably before that. Probably my run here. Did I talk to her? You're on it. Ding, 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 ding. You think I couldn't figure that out, huh? Nice. Um, this is a resolve attack for the smoldering maze. I don't know if I need that. Damn. I might actually use Smoldering Mace, too. I don't know. Having infinite stamina smashing people with a giant mace could be very good. Let's see. One one hundredth times that you get hit. You survive because your shell is form is so ethereal it phases through. But you die in three seconds unless you hit something to re-anchor yourself to the real world. Huh. That would be cool. Like a focus band or something. walk through. What? Why did you roll the wrong way? Well, at least the door's open now. These playthroughs are just going to be me running through the level, <laughs> opening a door, and then dying. And then trying to run through all the way. I can picture like two quenching essence here. I don't know how to get to the second one. I know how to get to the I first one. Sure. The first one's pretty easy to get to. We run, run, run. We run because we're Tar Black Man. We run, run, run. Because if we get hit once, we will die. Tar Black Man's the guy. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't jump that far. You're just a little grunt guy. Yeah, I think it would work, Sid. I would like it. I mean, I'll take anything, honestly, at this point. What's up, Cody? I've kept your flesh safe. Maybe he would get an ability that makes the loading screens go by faster because he dies so much
I don't know why, I just get the items. Okay, gotta get, okay. Got the quench. Honestly, I just want to use this quenching acid now. So I can see which weapon I want to use. Big sword man is no match for Tar Blackman and his amazing ability to run away like Usain Bolt. All right, let's fight this guy. See how that goes. Keep doing running attacks. No, don't go away. Stay here. What's up, Dark Souls 3? How are you having the shelves run so far? Shelves? Do you have a fully upgraded sword first? No. I have a plus one sword. I have plus one hammer. Hell, there's so many ambushes. You recommend regular sword for shellless personally? I had the best luck with that one. Yeah, I'm not sure which one I want to use. I, I was actually really liking the sword though. Seems like there's a little delay after the running attack. Like after you hit somebody. Oh! I went way too early. <laughs> after you hit someone with that running attack, you can't just dash away instantly like you could with the sword. That's a point for the sword. Oh, that's like a huge point for the sword. I totally would have been able to dash away if I had the sword there. Hmm. All right, well, we had to try it out. I'm gonna keep using the hammer for the rest of this fight. Give it a shot. Because I do love the hammer. But you do need to get away very quickly. Oh yeah, I... I don't know. The hammer's got too much... I don't know what you'd call it. Not recoil? Maybe recoil, I don't know, after you swing. I 
Like, see there, I knocked him down. Or knocked him off his... stance. Well, I got away pretty quick that time. I don't know, it's really close. Hardening. attack was so slow I mess up the timing <laughs> two hard men hitting each other oh my god <laughs> why'd I talk stupid moose Somehow hammer and chisel feels even slower than the sword. It does. It actually does, I think. Not by a much. But it does feel a little slower. that lag time after the running attack not good for someone like Aerodrome who can just harden it off or take the hit it really doesn't matter but if you're fighting somebody quicker and you're using shellless Tar Blackman I don't know if you're gonna survive very long. Got a lucky Harden. Well, not a lucky Harden, but I had to Harden there. I think I could use hammer and chisel. It would be okay. But I think the so far the hollow sword is going to be my best bet. I think this is going to be the final boss for this episode. <laughs> Next episode, we'll try running through the area and fighting Nimrod the Fatter Smasher. Having a hard time getting the PS5? That is true, Clognog. I... I'm having quite a hard time. Oh my... Good lord!
All right, I'm gonna do one more try with the hammer and chisel, and then I'm gonna switch. See if that helps at all. I mean, I died a ton with the. Oh my god, he almost killed me. I died a ton with the hollow sword as well. Maybe it's not necessarily the hammer's fault. Farts. Do I have the scripture to call the hollow sword? I just might. Let me see. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, I did not have a heart in there. <laughs> I do now, though. Try the smoldering mace now. I don't know. The recovery time is so much better. Yeah, I think we have to go with the hollow sword here. Tough time now. What? He hardened my resolve attack, you bastard. Extra hard. Well, that was a bad idea on my part. Got lucky and he missed, but. Well, I did iframe it, I guess, so not. He missed, but. Still. Don't do that. There's some damage for me. That was a miss. Okay, so hammer and chisel is actually off the list of weapons I might use. Mace would look really cool with Tar Blackman. I think so. 
I'm, I'm definitely going to try the mace out a little bit. That's what I wanted to do in this episode. Kind of figure out which weapon I want to use. I actually expected to be using hammer and chisel. Honestly, but... No. No hammer and chisel. Let's see what the smoldering mace will do, though. Normally I would say no, but we have infinite stamina, so... Frickin' guy with a club smacked me. Does seem a little slow. What's the running attack like? That's a big factor. Got to have a good running attack. Almost just smack poor Sester. Well, I can run away pretty fast afterwards. Might be good. Stuck in a corner there. Uh, the jump attacks in this game, I think, go a bit further <laughs> than they actually should. Tries mace, dies immediately. <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know if I'm going to use the mace. I'm trying to see what would be an actual good test of it. Like, if I could fight another Grisha, maybe. The running attack seems decent. Oh, come on. Why am I so dumb? I mean, I press circle. I don't know if I was in a weird time where I couldn't roll. Whichever weapon I pick has to have the highest recovery speed. I figured it would be hammer and chisel, like I could swing and then roll at any given time, but that running attack was not doing it for me. The running attack on this actually seems to have less recovery time. It is interesting to use this with so much stamina, though. I don't think I'm going to end up using it. I think I'm going to end up with the sword, Howled Sword. But it is interesting to see how much damage you can do with that thing with 
the largest stamina bar known to man. Art is peace. What's going on? Scubert, Dubert. How are you, my friend? Is there PvP in this game? No. No PvP. Swing speed is not that bad. Uh, <laughs> I just want to fight that night guy again without a shield, though. Just so I can see the power. So I guess the final boss is going to be the knight <laughs> for this stream. Where's everybody else? Break that shield. That was a terrible harden. I think maybe the thing to do for this run is to use all the weapons, depending on the situation. Because there's some guys where, you know, you might actually want to use the hammer, or the smoldering mace as they call it. You can get out of there pretty fast. <laughs> the AOE. Oh, I forgot about upgrading that. I have one of them. Where do you get the other papers to summon weapons? I think that would be pretty cool to have all the weapons. Although, I do think the sword is going to be the main one. Hollow sword. The mango. That's not it. Smoldering Make. He's 
he's not Ted till he's really dead. Ooh, hit him in the head, set him on fire. coming so I baked a mace buffing up oh I'm trying to harden I don't know how I missed it they're all in chess outside their respective boss dungeons. I see. You mean the Hattern boss? Or do you mean like the area boss? That's the hollow sword. No, it's not over here. I know I said the knight was going to be the final boss, but now it's the big guy with the big sword. Okay, that R2 is going to be useless. Whoa, just broke his shield. Wow, did you see how many times I hit that guy? <laughs> Without a shield, I mean, you could just mace the crap out of him. He has a lot of health, though. Mace is actually not doing as much damage as I thought it would be doing. I know it's unupgraded, but still. Doesn't feel like it's doing all that much. Um. Yeah, I just keep coming back to the sword, I guess. Let me kill that big guy and then that'll be it. <laughs> that guy was sitting down and I hit him and he just landed on his feet? What? up for this. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Right outside the place you fought Hattern for the mace, aka outside the fire temple. Should be the first chest you see outside the fire dungeon. Hmm. Oh, it's in the fish chest. Okay. That is doable.
Broke it. Damage is so good with that size of a stamina bar. The individual hits kind of feel weak though. But if you can keep on hitting somebody, wow, you do a lot of damage. beat this guy and then I'll probably never use the mace again <laughs> oh well I had to give it a chance I had to give it a thorough test right, it does have a lot going for it with this size of a stamina bar but having no health you really can't abuse it, so you need to go with the more hit and run tactics. And that goes to Hammer and Chisel and Hollow Sword. But Hammer and Chisel has too much recoil on its running attack. So probably just Hollow Sword. Never stop. Damn it! <laughs> okay, I can do this. I can do this. And then I, I will retire. Retire the mace. Smoldering mace. It will smolder. No, it's definitely not optimal for this run, Prema. But we gave it a shot. We tested it out. And now we know. <laughs> he just walked into that. And hit his foot. Oh. Broken shield. Oh my god. <laughs> that damage. And by damage, I mean because of all the swings without losing stamina. does have some impressive swings. Never do the third R2. Alright, that's really all I wanted to do, but we'll see if we can clear this area out.
Dude, I love how it just breaks the field. Look, how, he's still got his arm like he has a shield. Damn, look at this thing go. All that stamina. that far though which is pretty good anyways that's all I'm gonna do for today we'll switch back to the hollowed blade is it the hollow blade or the hollow sward hollow knife dude we got the hollow knife what you know about the hollow knife, man? <laughs> no, don't go out there. <laughs> that running attack, though, so quick. And that's perfect for this build. Anyways, guys, that is all I wanted to do. Like I said, um, next episode, we're going to do the fire area. Fight Imrod will probably just end up running through. But you know what? I'm going to run back in here. <laughs> I was going to play the whatchamacallit loot on those steps but then I was like what if the guys come out and attack me and then I die hollow toothpick is coming when you'd have to ask the developers man are they working on hollow toothpick for the next patch or for a run of DLC? I hope so. Hollow Toothpick. Sounds good to me. Oh, that could be a shell. Why isn't that a shell? Wait, is that guy dismembered? I see legs. Body. Head. I don't know why they gave him eyes like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the texture. You can tell. The squares. That's the transparency. Why? You do. Maybe his arms got cut off. Or maybe it's stuck under the rock. I don't know. Could have been a shell though. Tester. Alright, so next episode we will, where's my loot? Head through the fire area, fight Imran. Jolly good times. I forgot you start off like this. <laughs> Freaking Tar Blackman. He's learning the loot, he's not very good yet. But he tries. <laughs> oh, God. Nice.
this evening. It's 7.22 p.m. for me. Which in military time or 24-hour clock is 19, I think. Everyone was doing 24-hour clock earlier. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is Move Torrent. I will be back with another one for you guys shortly.